There once was an Irish boy who dreamed of gold, but not just any old gold, fairy gold, and he stopped at nothing to get it. Fighting a world of armed and dangerous fairies, power-crazed pixies, and bloodthirsty demons. But now the fairies need criminal mastermind Artemis Fowl to save them from a deadly enemy. There's a problem. Dabbling in fairy magic has messed with his mind. Have Artemis Fowl's criminal ways finally got the better of him? Hello everybody, uh, this is Owen Colfer here, Arthur of Artemis Fowl, and I'm sitting here in my office, which is in space, obviously. If you happen to log on to my Artemis Fowl event on the 3rd of March, which is a Thursday, at 11 a.m., um, I can promise you, not just me sitting here with the grey hair and the abnormally expressive eyebrows, but also um, some of this. I like showing that to the boys because sometimes if they're attractive, they can be hypnotized. Ooh, I don't care. I don't care what the book is like. It's pretty. Whereas girls actually want to read the books. Um, girls, this book is all about vampires who fall in love with werewolves. It's fantastic. You should buy it. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? And I, that's, not, that's not the only trick what I do. I also do uh, a little bit of this. My dad is a storyteller, my mother is a drama teacher and storyteller, and we were little boys, there was five of us, and we all had to go in the back of one car. So we'd be in the back of the car on long drives, and it was a Renault 4, they don't make those anymore, but in a Renault 4, you could, put two, you could put a little mattress in the boot of the car, and climb over the back seat, and two of us would lie down, and, re and of course, you've got five boys in the car, what's going to happen? They'd start beating each other up soon, and kicking each other. One time, uh, one of the other, my brothers opened the back door, and my other brother fell out. <laughs> And he never told my mother, he just closed the door. And they were like 10 miles later, where is he gone? Ah, oh, yeah, he fell out in the last time we left him. <laughs> but, uh, but to stop this happening, my dad would tell these fantastic stories. And he would make them up from the top of his head. And they were always magical stories. And I would be lying there in the back of the car and he would be telling me stories of battles and magicians and sorcerers. And when he got tired, it was like a tag team. He would pass the story over to my mother. I'm going to be talking mostly about young uh, criminal mastermind Artemis Fowl, who has been going now for an incredible uh, 10 years. So I'm going to be telling stories about where he came from, what gave me the idea, and I'm going to try to be a little bit educational uh, for the teachers and talk about how you go about writing a book or how I go about it, and hopefully answering some of the students' questions about creative writing. But look at it this way, while you are looking at me online, you will not be able to study for exams. So, you know, that's got to be worth something. 